Misha here and I've got a 24 by 24 old canvas that I didn't like the outcome on so I you know I've just been recycling canvases lately because I have so many of them and this one was tucked away in the garage and I really like the painting that I just did in a previous video where I took some of these blues mixed it poured them together and shot the hair dryer at them with a bunch of gold spray so I'm gonna do the same thing but on a bigger scale and what I've got as far as colors are titanium white, I've got some violet, I've got uh, sky blue right here, and then I also have pale blue. I've got phthalo blue and emerald green. I've got ocean green and ultramarine blue. All right, I'm gonna just pour some puddles, hit it with the hair dryer, and then cover it all with the, oh, I didn't show you that, the Liquitex Gold Spray Paint. All right, let's get started. All right, guys, so this is the next morning. It's getting pretty dry in quite a few spots, and it's definitely stopped moving around, so let me bring you in closer for a look. There are so many spots in this painting that I just absolutely love, um, like this area is one of them. <laughs> and then over here, there's this area, and I could just keep doing that throughout the whole painting because I really love this whole thing. Ignore the dog drinking the water in the background. All 
I love all of the webbing that's going on throughout this whole painting. It's so cool. And a lot of that's from um, some of that gold. The dogs are trying to get the, like, licking the bottom of the bowls after they've eaten. See this spot right here? Oh my gosh, so pretty. There's so many pretty parts to this. I just really love it. And this is the direction I would hang it in, although I'm getting that glare from the door, or from the sliding glass door. But I believe this is how I would hang it on the wall. All right, guys, that's it for today. Tell me what you think by commenting below. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button because there's a lot more coming. And give me a big old thumbs up, please. And until next time, take care. All right, guys, so I had to pull this outside and show you a big old learning lesson that I got with this painting. So the story is that I had this painting done and then I had people coming over and I really wanted space on the table so I moved it into my garage to finish drying and it was about two-thirds of the way dry I would say maybe half I don't know if it was even two-thirds but I moved it into the garage and you know it's winter and I had a reaction so let me bring you in closer to show you exactly what I'm talking about all right we got that cool let's see Ooh, there you go. So we got that cool um, gold, but then I also got all this cracking throughout, which is not what I intended for, but it's so neat too. I just don't feel like I want to do anything with it. Like I almost feel like it's meant to happen like this. It is so neat. Look at all these little areas. Again, not what I intended for, Probably not what most people want, but I just think with all the crackling with all the gold and everything It really added some cool effects to it, but then you go up here where it was dry and There's nothing and we're all good there But I just want to take a moment to show you guys that little learning lesson take it for what you want if you like it Man, maybe you should um, move your paintings uh, out to a cold area and see if it works uh, The same <laughs> I might try it again. All right guys. That's it